Field. Worked inside. Taylor Bond with it. Taylor Bond settles. Corey Dowell is pacing him well. I don't think Taylor Bond's taken a break yet. He's been out on this pitch for about six minutes. Still can't hear me. Back at it, St. Louis Ambush Act. Goalkeeper Casey Clark in possession. To get some more movement out on the field for the ambush. That's a good play through the middle. Ambush work it up. Opportunity here. Taken away with the Mustangs. It's going to be a handball. Corey Dow, quick restart from Taylor Bond. He knows the rules. Handball against the ambush number five. Corey Dow, that's his first foul of the half. It's good pressure by Corey Dow. Sorry for any technical difficulties you may have experienced here on MSL TV, but we are back at it live and in control, and so are the ambush early. Zero to zero, but good pacing by both teams. Chicago now with the ball. As we were stating earlier, a two-minute penalty early for the ambush. Missed opportunity. Stefan St. Louis could not, on the penalty attempt, capitalize. Two minutes played down by the Mustangs, and we bring you now to live action. Six minutes remaining here in the first, the ambush and Mustangs. Big Central Division matchup, rivalry between these two teams, huh, Jason? Yeah, we, I, I remember playing and these guys back in 2007. Then when again with the Pies, all these guys have been around for a long time with the same group of guys. So we, they know each other well. We are under seven minutes. We're taking our first time out, but what we're going to do is take a second to catch you up on what you may have missed. Obviously, St. Louis Ambush Soccer, MASL TV, powered by YouTube. This broadcast brought to you by Midwest Members Credit Union, midmembers.org. Find them, personal, home, auto, and finance needs. Midmembers.org. If you live, work, or worship in Madison County, check them out, and they will help you reach your financial goals. A lot of history between these two teams, as we said, since St. Louis came back into the MASL, what, four years ago now, Jason? His team seems to have played each other three times every year because that's how the Central works. And, and obviously that uh, that Chicago-St. Louis rivalry has been made so famous in other sports. It translates here, 7-7 seven seven Mustangs, the 1-16 ambush. It's one thing with these two teams. You'll know they'll both be going at it as hard as they can. <coughs> but with that uh, St. Louis miss power play, that's uh, Flores. He's one of the best keepers in this league and he knows how to be patient. He was waiting for St. Louis to make a move. He stayed tall, he was shot low, and was able to get there. The head coaches of both teams, Tony Glavin for the ambush and Armando Gamboa for the Mustangs, share the distinction of holding ownership stakes in their respective clubs. Those are the only two coaches that are also partial owners in the MASL. So there's your uh, there's your trivia crack 
right there, Jason. The Mustangs won the first four games of the season, but have fallen three and seven since. They're looking for uh, to turn things around here and try to find that playoff spot. And obviously, as we stated earlier, the ambush looking to play spoiler against a central division rival. Taylor Bond is your standout Mustangs player from St. Charles, Illinois. I think I've seen Taylor Bond take two breaks so far. He's been out on the field a good amount of the time. Does not rest. Back to action now, St. Louis Ambush with the restart. It's played high and long, a 50-50 ball taken by the Mustangs. Played to the center, Efren Martinez plays it high and wide and it's a near goal for the Mustangs. Casey Clark not afraid to get out of the box, but it will uh, it'll bite you sometimes. Did Matt, well staying with the play, getting back. Martinez takes it away from Clark. It's an opportunity for the Mustangs. Played in front, and of course, Taylor Bond is going to score. I think we just need to play a little quicker out of the back. If we get in trouble, just kind of hit it long. That's one thing Flores does well with the, with the Mustangs, is when he gets pressure, he just lifts it up to the mid-half line, to the three-quarter line. When the Mustangs there with obvious pressure, on goalkeeper Casey Clark, working up front, not able to clear Mattingly, the had it early, had to play it back. We'll see if we can get the replay here in a second. Here it is on the replay. Taylor Blind, well, and it's just, it's an inside heel, and, and that's not gonna be a problem for him to score. He'll make that 100 out of 100 times. 538 remaining in the first. Chicago jumps out to a one nil lead. Burko with it, plays it back to Pepe. Pepe over to Mitch Garcia. Mitch Garcia with it. You can recognize those shoes from anywhere in the arena. Gets it back to Casey Clark. Casey Clark plays it up down middle, long and wide. Cannot get it to Danny Burko. Pepe has it. He sees Burko. No, he doesn't. Plays it back to the middle. Mitch Garcia with it. Gets it over. Oh, I thought he was going to go to Almeida. He just stutters himself. Now gets it to Almeida. Chicago sets itself on defense. Almeida tries to work it to the inside. Ross McGregor. Ross McGregor with it. Tries to rear heel and it's taken away. Francisco Gonzalez has it. He loses it. St. Louis Ambush in possession. Pepe with it. Go ahead, Jason. Good control here with the Ambush. Just stay in control. Other guys move long. There we go. Played up top to Nick Korlak. Nick Korlak now in the corner. Nick Korlak works it out. He gets over to Captain Chris Mattingly. Mattingly plays in the middle. Corey Dowlin, he's open from there. He's not going to take an opportunity. Mattingly with it. Played on the near dasher all the way across to Stephon St. Louis, and he's working as he's pulled down. Chicago can't believe it, but I saw it from here. It's a little tug. Edwin Rojas has been in the league a I got long time. A lot of guys from Mexico City on the Chicago team. A lot of guys from Guadalajara. St. Louis on the restart. Stefan does not take the opportunity. Mattingly does. Plays it wide to Nick Korlak. Almeida has it. Shoots it. It's deflected. It's a good time to pressure. Tried to get clear here. A lot of pressure from the ambush, as you called it, Jason. Get it across the field. It, it's all the way over to the Mustangs. The Mustangs have it. It's on the far dasher at this point. Plays it high into the inside. Sandoval settles it. He plays it back. Mustangs in possession. Gonzalez with it. He's going to settle the troops. Fresh legs on for the Mustangs. A little bit of pressure here from Lucas Almeida. It's going to work it back to the goalkeeper. Martinez with it. Back to Flores. Flores settles. The most we've really seen him possess the ball thus far this game. What we're seeing with the Mustangs here is a lot of movement in the midfield. They make their runs. They do their transitions. There's always movement with them. All right, family. Mitch Garcia plays together. it back to Corey Dow. Corey Dow to here. Garcia. Garcia settles. He tries to fire it inside and does. He gets it all the way down. I think that's Victor France. Victor France with it. He's working hard. He gets it out front. It's real here to Almeida. Almeida plays it to no one. That's Pe Pepe's going to corral it. Oh, that's not Pepe. 18. That's number 19, Greg Kranz. Greg Kranz with it. Haircut looks good. He fires, and it's deflected long and wide. Settled by Takata. Takata gets back to France. France with it. He's going to move it out to the captain, Chris Mattingly. Chris Mattingly's going to swing over the near dasher. Franz with it. He fires again. It's deflected. He gets his own rebound up and out of play. And that's going to be Chicago ball off the chest of Kranz. Hey ambush are doing well when we have patience and we're making simple Sunday, passes. Hosts the Baltimore Blast. At 3 p.m. on slow bubblehead Martinez day. has it deep inside for the, the Mustangs, but it's played out by an ambush defender. Gets it up to Victor France. He's going to sell middle three. He's got Ross McGregor. Ross McGregor sees Takata. Can't get it to him. Missed opportunity there for the ambush. Gets it back to Mitch Garcia. Garcia to Casey. Casey to McGregor. McGregor on the near dasher. 
He's going to play it up. He's going to look inside. He's got an opportunity here. I think that's Pepe. Pepe with it. No, it's Victor France. It was Pepe. I'm they're twins. I'm telling you they're twins. Played inside to Takata. Takata can't capitalize. Mustangs on the rebound. Danny Burke with a little bit of pressure. Doesn't affect anything. Mustangs with it an opportunity. Here's Taylor Bond. You know he's looking to score. Shoots it long and wide. It's a slow roller, but it's played off the dasher. Taylor Bond just misses that one, and he often doesn't. Looking to make the highlight reel. Played off the top of the glass. Might be a handball there. Out of play regardless. So it'll be Mustangs on the restart. A lot of pressure from Chicago early. Yeah, Chicago, they, they know when to pressure. You'll see them back off, too, when they when they have the right uh, people on. They just know when to come at us. Very skilled team. Efren Beard with the restart, plays it off the board, looking for an opportunity off the dasher. It's not there. Takata plays it high. That's the kind of thing you can expect from Chicago is use that fours right by the goalkeeper, let their guys run onto it. And well, I think that's what Bond does well. Specifically with a guy like Alfonso Sandoval, who's not afraid to get there in the middle and, and put elbows up with the defender and, and find that opportunity. Rojas with it, tries to work it inside. Gets it inside to Beard. Beard can't make it happen here. Pepe takes it away. The person up top in front of the goalkeeper is just like a hockey player that just stays right in front of the goalkeeper. They're... They need to know that they're going to get hit, but they know to stay strong. He's a screener. He's a scorer. He's a nuisance. Chicago with it. A little miscue there, but they're going to retain. Worked inside and taken away. Good job by Chris Mattingly just tying up Rojas, and he wasn't able to escape that pressure. Casey Clark goes for not one, but two lines. Gets all the way out to St. Louis. Excuse me, Stephon St. Louis. Plays it back to Takata. Takata has a midfield. Fresh legs coming out. One minute and 20 seconds remaining here in the first. Casey Clark with it. Ambush in possession. Chasing one. High speed, fast paced action here in the first quarter. It's a beautiful afternoon here in St. Louis. Victor France with it. Looks inside. Cannot find a streaking Lucas Almeida. Plays off the dasher to himself. He's got an opportunity. Oh, and it's lost to Flores. Flores in possession. Tries to play it out to Mattingly. No prevail. Almeida takes it, plays it to himself. Almeida looks inside, cannot get it over to Nick Korolak, and it's going to slowly roll to Flores. Flores plays it out. Tori Dow tries to match. Chicago attacker gets it up to Almeida. Almeida with it over to France. France has it. He has Korolak on his left. He shoots long and wide. Oh, just wide. Lucas Almeida with a little bit of pressure. Cannot corral the rebound. He gets it out to Greg Kranz. Greg Kranz fires, but it's deflected. Here's Taylor Bond, and he's got room. Take the ball away from him. It's played up to Martinez. Martinez has it. Dos Santos with an opportunity, and he goes down. And foul number 19, Greg Kranz, first foul of the half. Restart for the Mustangs. Two phantom attempts. Martinez plays it. He shoots it off the dasher. No rebound opportunity for the Mustangs. It's played out of bounds. I think that'll be procedural, so it's going to be a restart for the Mustangs at the top of the key. One thing with the ambush, what they need to do and is watch, protect that board board near the, the goalkeeper. They're used to banging it off the board, have two, one or two runners running on just to have a nice laid out shot to the goal. Opportunity here for the Mustangs. Three man wall for the ambush. Oh, and Chicago's going to take a timeout with 18 seconds and an opportunity here. They're going to look to end the first quarter with a two-goal advantage. Timeout on the field. We're going to take a timeout as well when we return. Conclusion of the first quarter. Restart at the top of the key. I am Fred Slow. You are Jason Norzig. You'll be back with St. Louis Ambush Soccer and MASL TV.
It's a GK Union restart here at the Family Arena. Chicago at the top of the key. Chicago fakes it. Martinez fires. Three-man wall. It's inside just wide. A rebound opportunity for Chicago. And to no prevail, that's going to be a handball in Casey Clark outside the box. Yeah, it's going to be a blue card. Yeah, that, you can't do that, Clark. So that'll be a blue card. Obviously, Clark cannot serve his own penalty. So someone will have to be deemed a cheater for the ambush and move to the penalty box. So now it will be 12.8 seconds here in the first. Restart at the yellow line. It'll be a penalty kick, if that's correct. So I've been I've been there as a goalkeeper, and like you think that the whole ball has to be across the line, but the, the referees never see it that way. If there's a, a sliver of that ball, that's what we see as a goalkeeper. Still in the box. I think that's what Casey's arguing in his case, is that the ball was slightly in in the box. So it'll be a restart for Chicago. Alfonso Sandoval will take it for the Mustangs. Casey Clark in goal. I don't have his percentages on saves on penalty kicks this year. But across the league, it's more opportunity the offense will score every time. Here's the restart. Chicago in the number. Nice Big save. save by Casey Clark. He comes, matches the test, and he's played Casey inside Clark Taylor Barn. Taylor Bond with some effort. Clark goes down. He's going to corral it, and he's just going to let time roll out. That'll be the end of the first quarter here in St. Louis. Chicago with a one-goal lead. The ambush will look to capitalize, <coughs> excuse me, the Mustangs will look to capitalize on their power play here in the second quarter when we return to action. You're listening to St. Louis Ambush Soccer on MASL TV.
Welcome back to St. Louis Amateur Soccer. I, of course, am Fred Slow alongside me, Jason Norsick. Chicago leaves 1-0 after one period of play. We still got the, still got the power play here in the family arena. Now on sale, starting as low as $100, which includes free VIP parking. For more information, Check out the sales table so we're going to start at midfield of the ambush ball. Power play for the Mustangs. One minute and 45 seconds in that power play. Chicago in possession. Plays it back to full reds. <coughs> Ortega with it. He's going to play it across the field. Chicago in possession. And you know they're monotonous on the power play. They take their time. They find their opportunities. We got Pepe, Mattingly, McGregor, Dowell, all good defenders on the. Casey Clark picks it up innocently enough. He had a tough end of the first period there with the two minute penalty for hands outside the box. Tries to get all the way up to Danny Burko and does. Danny Burko with an opportunity. He's gonna play it off the glass, settles it to himself. He's one against the world. That's classic Danny Burko. He's gonna bring it out. He dances with it, doesn't he? He's going to lose little, it to Martinez and Bond. Bond with it. It's two on two at this point. Pepe's recovery, though. Two on three. Martinez with it. Plays it to the wing. He gets it back. I think that's Rojas. It might be Dos Santos. Dos Santos with it. Taken away by Danny Burko. Plays it out. That's Efron Beard. Beard with it. He plays across Taylor Bond. He's dangerous. Looks to the inside. Has nothing. Shoots for it. Chicago power play goal. His He's unreal. The game. He just had patience with the ball. Looked up. Saw that we were a little bit out of position and took advantage of it. There was no opportunity there until Taylor Bond created that opportunity. Here's the replay. Tell me what you see here, Jason. He's, he looks up, sees where he can go with the ball. Nobody's really pressuring him, takes a step. Our defender comes across a little bit, which opened up that gap in the far post. Well, and he's so strong. He does, I mean, he does not have to cock it. Like he, that, that is a wrister with an ankle. 13-52 here in the first. Chicago extends their lead, 2-0. to zero. Mustangs in control early and throughout thus far. Ambush with it. Mitch Garcia has it. Plays it back to Casey Clark. Garcia, Pepe, Almeida, Nick Corlax, Stefan St. Louis. St. Louis calls for it. Cannot corral it. Taken away by Mustangs. 50 50 opportunity. Good body there by Rojas. And, and I would have said let him play in that situation, but Jason, you feel otherwise? Uh, he went into the guy a little bit. He didn't go straight up. He just kind of bodied. The guy away, away from the ball. Restart for the ambush. Korlak with it. Plays it back to Garcia. There's a good time for the ambush just to relax, pass the ball, know that, go back to fundamentals. Stefan St. Louis, he's playing at the yellow strike. It's up to Pepe, kind of a deflected opportunity there. You want to put a little bit more mustard on it when you're making a sandwich. Flores plays it out. Gets it high and long. That's Taylor Bond. Taylor Bond. Takes a little bit of a bump there from Nick Korlak, WWE style. That's something we should expect from Flores out of the back with his arm. He doesn't have a really good arm, but he'll, he'll just loft that ball, let, throw it to Bond, somebody strong, and let them deal with it. Bond with a little inside-out game. Not sure what the call is here. Hey, there was a little push on Bond as he tried to get around to the outside. Well, at this point, Taylor Bond is and he has all season, and I know it's just a 7-7 seven seven record for the Mustangs, but he's one of the finest players just in this league. Two-man wall for the ambush, and kind of an awkward restop point. Played inside by the Mustangs, brought right in to the cradle of Casey Clark. Captain Chris Manley with it, plays it up. <coughs> Mustangs with it on the attack. Mustangs with an opportunity. Casey Clark out in front, though. Gets his hands up, brings the ball in. That's how you settle it. That's how you corral it, Jason. That's how you show them when you're teaching the kids. Let's get in the right position. Nice push into the ball. Clark tries to force one up to France to no prevail. Chicago takes it away. Flores in possession. France with a little bit of pressure. Chicago's going to play it out. Corey Blentlinger makes an option. Out. Ooh, and Victor France misses it. It's topsy. It's turvy, and he spins through it. Corey Blentlinger cannot corral it. Chicago with it. They get it out to the midfield. Rojas with it. This kid can fly. He's moving it. He gets it all the way up. I don't have a number that's dose hit. No, that's Rojas. Excuse me. Rojas with it. Takes his time. Works him inside. Dos Santos oh. turns and he misses. No opportunity there. Not Dos Santos. Correct me. De La Cruz. Chicago goal. 
again, they hit it off the board waiting. There's two Mustang attackers, one on top, one to the side. Here's, one of them's gonna bounce to him. Here's the replay. So it's played inside like you said, Jason. So off the boards, out to the one of the defense, or one of the forwards. There's another one. Kind of got a lucky break, but inside that box we got a man up. Yeah, Rojas was unmatched, like you said. So it's a three-goal lead for the Mustangs with 156 here in the second. Ambush are gonna have in midfield. Play back Corey Dow. Corey Dow just fishes one up. Danny Burko not there because no one was there. It's played out of bounds. So it hit the hit the dasher board before it went out of bounds, so otherwise that would have been a replay at the top. But since it hit the, the glass before it went over, it's going to be replay on the side. Magic soccer balls. Magic soccer ball, soccer ball there on the glass. Got a, got a fan gun about, about to get up on the chair. I think that's going to be a dangerous uh, situation. I tell you what, I love America's Funniest Home Videos. <laughs> And you, sir, might be on it. <laughs> get the kid. Get the kid to get up there. Restart for the ambush. Corey Dow with a shot, and it's deflected wide. Martinez. That's going to sting. That's going to have a stinger later. Nice bruise. Hits Martinez on the, uh, I'm going to call it the meaty part. Corey Dow plays it back to Casey Clark. Corey Dow in possession for the ambush. I played with Dow. He's got one of the harder shots in the league. Oh, he's strong. He's so strong. His whole body. Stefan St. Louis with it. He's going to get past two defenders. Settles midfield. Makes a little move to the right. Ooh. Shoots long in. Why? That's a sneaky opportunity. He's going to be corralled by Greg Kranz. Greg Kranz goes down. Foul, 12, Taylor, Bond. Taylor Bond is a cheater. Greg Kranz can attest to that. First foul, the First foul of the half for the Mustangs. Yeah, the, the shot by St. Louis, that was a veteran move. You just shoot it back across the goal. Hope, hopefully one of our guys was going to get there. Matting Lee was a little late getting there. Stephon St. Louis plays it to Ross McGregor, and Stephon St. Louis is going to step off. Greg Cranes with it out in front, plays it back to Casey Clark. Not a ton of pressure from the ambush early. Chasing three. Just move the ball, nice and simple. Victor France plays it back to Casey Clark. Casey Clark with it. Clark to France. France to McGregor. McGregor midfield. He's not matched with anyone. Taylor Bond decides to pick him up loosely. Plays it up to Almeida. Almeida back to McGregor. McGregor Referee. goes down over the official. Referee. I think he, We're doing a good job moving the ball around. We got the uh, uh, Mustang defense a little unorganized, so we need to keep it simple. With that said, Martinez just picks it out of midair, and it's now Chicago on the attack. Chicago tries to work it up. Pee Wee Ortega had an opportunity, but Ross McGregor takes it away from him. A lot of cool names in sports. Pee Wee, not one of them. <laughs> Depends on who you ask. Pepe loses it to Pee Wee. Pee Wee with it. He's going to move to the right. He's going to shoot. No, he's not. He's going to stumble. He's going to make the pass. Pass opportunity in front. And St. Louis is there with the answer. They're going to play it out to Danny Burko. Danny Burko works it across to Lucas Almeida. It's a little bit behind him. It's going to slow the pace. Lucas Almeida tries to go inside. Gets it past Martinez. He's in the midfield. He's making a move. Tries to find Danny Burko. Plays it to himself. Nice. Big goal. Good patience. Way to look up, see where the goalie was going down. Just a little flick over. Lucas Almeida applies a ton of pressure. Ping pongs his way through the field. Pinballs him away himself through the field. And I think that's one thing we can get out of Flores. He, he's great low, and he goes, but if we see him go down, we can just get it over Here, the top of him. Here's a replay. So Almeida's going to work it past Martinez, like we said, and, and it's just going to hit everybody on the field. Almeida picks it up and hits just a little teardrop, a little teardrop of a goal from Lucas Almeida. You've learned to expect that from him. He's a magic maker. 10-0-2 remaining here in the second. St. Louis Ambush chasing two. Mustangs with a 3-1 lead. Mustangs on the quick restart. Dos Santos trying to make something happen. Nick Korlak takes it away. Plays it back to Casey Clark. Gets it up to Stephon St. Louis. It's a one-on-two for St. Louis. He settles himself. A third defender back now. St. Louis is one on three. It's three on three. He shoots. Oh, big save by Flores. Flores extends his whole body. He's going to get out of Chicago. Chicago on the counter. This is where Chicago's dangerous. Taylor Bond with it. He'll be played on the boards by St. Louis. He fights St. Louis off. Madeline cannot take it away. Gets over to Dos Santos. He shoots. He scores. They know how to counterattack. That was one thing they did well. Bond got it right off the boards, back to the guy across the middle, finished it. Bond fought off the entire St. Louis ambush team. Here it is with Stefan St. Louis. He just get mixed up. Taylor Bond's too strong. 
Chris Magley cannot make the play here, and, and it's the pass to Dos Santos. Dos Santos is up and to the inside, and that is a Chicago Mustangs goal, four to one. Mustangs out in front with 9.36 remaining in the second. You cannot think you have the advantage on this Mustangs team. Ambush with it. Almeida in the middle. He's gonna. It's gonna get played back to Mitch Garcia. Mitch Garcia settles. He works it across to Almeida. Almeida gets all the way back to Casey Clark. Casey Clark's gonna command the troops. Brings it up past the yellow line. Works it over to, I think that's Pepe. Pepe with it. It's gonna find Almeida. Almeida's streaking, but it's up and out of play. He's a little too strong. I think that was Kranz out there. Hit it across. The official barber of the St. Louis Ambush knows one haircut. Chicago in control, Edwin Rojas with it. He's gonna play it all the way across to Ephraim Beard. Beard gets it to the middle. Pace of play slowed since that counter attack from the Chicago, which extended it back to a three goal lead. Chicago with it. Edwin Rojas is gonna try to play it out. There. Here it's taken away by the ambush opportunity here for France. France has the streaks on the left, shoots to the inside. Big say by Flores. Just extends that body, puts himself on the turf and and saves a goal. That's going to be a penalty on Chicago. That's Juan De La Cruz. Again, that's one, one thing uh, Flores is going to be good at is anything low. We, we just got to start lifting that ball up. Chicago in possession. Gets it out of their own end. Bluntlinger is going to run De La Cruz into the boards. I think we got lucky that wasn't a two minute there. It's about a tip, Jason. And I don't think Blentlinger meant to fall down. Nobody means to fall down. Beard on the restart for Chicago. He's going to play it all the way across the field. Fresh legs on for the Mustangs. Watch out, they're sneaky. Edwin Rojas with it. You don't know this, Jason got a tooth pulled yesterday. My mouth feels terrible. Which tooth was it? The very far back right. You, I, don't, you don't need that one. I had chipped it. How just, do you chip that? I, I was eating cheese. I don't know. <laughs> Ambush in possession. How, Pepe with it. How old was that cheese? It was gooda. It was gooda, but not for my teeth. Ball played up. Pee Wee with it. Mustangs in control. Martinez tries to make a move midfield. Does not find success. Danny Burko takes it away, and that's going to be the penalty on nine, Rodrigo Flores. Rodrigo Flores, first foul of the half. I feel bad for all of our Spanish-speaking listeners as I am just the absolute worst with the most beautiful language on the planet. Ambush in possession, shot by Danny Burko, long and wide. Pepe cannot corral. Pepe and Flores do a little dance. It's an Alamander left, but Flores is going to clear it to midfield. Martinez with it, settles three. Ambush defenders should be an opportunity here, and they do take it away. Pepe with it, works it over to Takata. Takata has it. I like that reference for the, the square dance in there. That was, that was a good reference. Corey Dow with it shoots high and hard, and it's blocked by Flores. Corey Dow comes in, throws all of his weight into anyone he can. Uh, Dow's just Corey too strong. Dow, his second of the half. Well, and the thing about square dancing references is you can't just you can't just promenade them out there. <laughs> the things I know that I don't talk about. Pee Wee on the restart for the Mustangs. Martinez with it. Back to Pee Wee. Pee-wee makes a move. Size extra small on that jersey. Nick Korolak gets it over to the captain, Chris Malley. Gets it up to Kata. I need a streak. There it is. It's Nick Korolak, but he's missed, and he knows he's missed. Throws his hair back in frustration. Victor France with it. Victor France makes a move. This kid's talented. Goes the inside. He's got Nick Korolak. Nick Korolak to France. France shoots. It's off the dasher. Takata on the rebound. Too much time. Chicago resets. It's a 3-2 zone for Chicago. Corey Dow with it. He stutters. He, take, he makes Moodle less, shoots it off the dash. Oh, and he needed the reel here there by the captain, Chris Maddenly, but he could not. Six minutes, 35 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. It was a good lead by Chris Maddenly. We just needed one more person streaking in. Follow your shot, kids. Ball is played up. It's that Taylor Bond. Why wouldn't it be? Takata is going to get that long rebound off the dasher, though. Mitch Garcia with it. It's going to move to the inside. Mitch Garcia settles himself, gets it over to Greg Kranz. Greg Kranz doesn't mind a touch or two. 
Garcia calls for a little help. Gets it up to Stephon St. Louis. He's going to have to wait for the troops. Here they come. Plays it back out to Kranz. Kranz is open. He shoots. Oh, big save off Flores. The forearms will burn off to that one. Corey Blintlinger chases it down. Cannot get to it. It bounces off a couple Chicago Mustangs heads. It gets all the way out to Taylor Bond. Basically the cherry picking as Taylor Bond you will ever see. Tries to play it back, and it's taken away by the ambush. France has it. He looks to the inside. He starts to the left. Oh, big spin move. Turns Taylor Bond so strong. Maybe, maybe took a shot off the inner thigh. Yeah, he's going to sit down for a second. Dos Santos with it. He's going to lose Greg it to Greg Kranz. Kranz. Greg Kranz is about the strongest guy in the whole world right now. Big, oh, it looks like Taylor Bond has had a miraculous recovery once the attack came back. Taylor Bond takes it away. Got a little bit of a stumble on him. Luke Salmeida chases it. Dos Santos loses it to Almeida. Almeida with it. Almeida's going to look for Fred. Oh, nutmeg. Pulled down by Dos Santos. And Let's get the blue card. Coming up against Chicago. Fast Number paced, 14, high action Douglas here, Jason Dos Santos. Wilson. With that penalty, we have an official timeout. We're under seven minutes here in the corner. We're going to take a timeout. Timeout on the field, and we in the booth are going to. I'm going to take a drink of water, Jason. That's what I'm going to do. When we return, conclusion of second quarter action here in St. Louis. Chicago Mustangs lead four to one. You're watching MASL TV on YouTube. Back at it here in St. Charles. I'm Fred Slow alongside me, Jason Norsick. Power play opportunity for the ambush. It'll be a restart right outside the offensive third. Takata will take the restart. Chicago will have but four defenders as Dos Santos decided to wrap up and pull down Victor France right before the timeout. Near goal for the ambush. Stefan St. Louis on the far side. He's sneaky there. Victor France on the near side. My favorite St. Louis Ambush player, Ross McGregor. Takata plays it over to Almeida. Almeida and McGregor. Should be a pretty good set piece here from the Ambush after the timeout. Gets it back to McGregor. And no, they're just going to pull it out and try to find a hole in the zone. McGregor has it. Stefan St. Louis is lost on the field right now. McGregor tries to feed it to him and cannot. McGregor with it. Tries to get it to France. And Chicago is going to take it away. Pee Wee has it. Pee Wee gets it up. And it's just going to play harmlessly into the corner. No, Pee Wee's going to chase it down. It's out in front. Chicago has it. Got a double. Come on, guys. Edwin Rojas in possession. Ross McGregor is there to meet his mark. Ross McGregor right. takes it away. 120 remaining. And the ambush are looking for all the good vibrations they can get. We got to get it to St. Louis low. He was he was all by himself down there the, with the Mustangs out of by their goal. Takata to France. France shoots, and it's a big save by Flores. He's got a couple of those here tonight. Chicago tries to clear. Cannot. Almeida with it. Back at it. St. Louis. Almeida fires. Oh, and it's inside, and it puts a defender on the ground. <laughs> Pichardo sure. could not recover. McGregor with it. He's got the strong left foot. Three men on the left-hand side. Might be overloaded, in my opinion, for the ambush. Gets it out in front of Almeida. Almeida has it. Sets himself. Shoots inside. He's going to play it off the glass. No one's there. It's out to McGregor. McGregor with it. Turns. Tries to find Almeida. Almeida with it. Almeida also the sixth attacker when needed. Almeida plays it over to Takata. Takata with it. He's going to look to the left foot. No, it's inside. That might be Victor France. Victor France, no opportunity. It's back out to Takata. Takata with it. 
Looks to the inside of the left foot again. Nothing. Almeida with it. So we need to pull their defense apart, get them a little bit more spread. France with it. Inside opportunity. Plays it off the boards, and Takata was not there to corral it. We're under 20 seconds on the power play. Chicago in possession. Beard with it. Loses it to Almeida. The ambush have to push here. 15 seconds on the power play. Almeida with it. He's got France. He sees him. France with an opportunity. He's right outside the old three-point line. France looks inside. Shoots it. Well, right between the legs. Nice deflection. Victor France is not afraid of a little nutmeg. Goes between the legs of a Mustangs defender. Just crossed the outstretched arms of Flores. And France is into the stands. And I can only assume those are loved ones in attendance. Here's the replay. France with it. Right there. Inside of the interior leg of Edwin Rojas. Victor well, that makes France. Victor France a double digits goal scorer France here in the MASL. It's his 10th goal of the season. Oh. Well, that is the cutest family oh. in the whole, whole dang world. Congratulations, Victor France. <laughs> All right, cut the lead in half. Great player. Apparently, better family man. Who knew? <laughs> Chicago with it. Look for Chicago to try to do something early. Ooh, Pepe with a little move right there. Too much. Hit play and record at the same time if you're at home, kids. Taylor Bond with it. Taylor Bond moves to the left. No one even knows what that reference means anymore, Jason. Bond with it shoots high. In the, oh, it's low into the outside. Oof. Casey Clark with it. Big rebound. Good pressure, though. A streaking Francisco got, Gonzalez came in. Might have got clipped. Well, if you've ever been hit in the face, Jason, it is the worst. It, it stinks. Yeah. It stinks. Of all the places to be hit, the face, the second worst. <laughs> What's the first first worst? Use your imagination. <laughs> Casey Clark with the ball. He's going to work it out. Lucas Almeida is going to head it back. It's going to be taken away by Mustangs. They're going to play it all the way up. That's Taylor Bond. Of course it is. He's marked by Mitch Garcia. Oh, good work by these two. Yeah, and their hands are getting mixed up. I think Taylor knows the, the first place, the first worst from earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Ross with it, plays it inside to Bond. Bond's going to lose it to Garcia. A lot of work from Garcia. Reward that man. Jesus Flores is going to give it to a defender. That's Beard. Beard's going to play it over. Pee Wee with it. He's going to get it over to Martinez. Martinez settles back to Pee Wee. Pee Wee under control. Nick Korolak with a little bit of pressure, not too much. Played inside. Rojas cannot capitalize. Cleared by the ambush. Two minutes remaining here in the first half. And it's up and out of play. Should be an ambush restart. Oh, that was cleared. My mistake. Should be a Chicago restart. So my eyes deceive me, Jason Norsick. Restart for Chicago. Pee Wee with it. Gets it up quick. Mustangs have an opportunity here. It's a shot inside. Oh, nice Casey reaction. Clark extends his body. Good job, Nick Korolak slowing that one down. De La Cruz had a real opportunity for the Mustangs. Clark's going to get it high and wide. He's going to try to get it up to Takata, and he does. Takata looks for a Blintlinger, and he's not there. It's played out. Stefan St. Louis is going to head it up. This is a big opportunity here for the ambush. Oh, if it stayed in play. Field's just not big enough sometimes, Jason. That was a great reaction save by Casey Clark back there. It was, took a deflection. He was able to stay, stick with it just a little bit longer. Get a good hand on it. I think those GK Union gloves he's using might have had something to do with that. Basically suction cups, really. Ball is played of Chicago with an opportunity here. Chicago to the right-hand side takes a shot, but it's just wide. Kind of lazily hit. He didn't have the whole foot on it. It was Carlos Pichardo, more of a defender than an attacker. Nice Corey Dow with it. He didn't have much to go there, but he found his way out, got fouled on the way. It's a good play by Corey. Chris Madeline's going to have the restart from the ambush. He's going to get it up to Takato. A little bit of confusion from the Mustangs. Can the ambush answer? They can now. Martinez takes Takata down. Martinez takes the ball. Martinez has it midfield. He has Bond to his left. He's got an opportunity to his right. Fires it to his right. Chicago with it. Looks to the left. Taylor Bond out of position, though. Cody Blintlinger with it. He plays it back to the captain, Chris Madeline. One minute remaining here in the first. Dale Cruz is going to come up and spot Mattingly. Mattingly is going to look for an opportunity. Just 50 seconds here remaining. Fresh legs on for the ambush. They're going to try to capitalize here before the end of the half. Mitch Garcia plays it back to Casey Clark. Casey Clark with it. Comes up to the yellow line. 
ATC save on St. Louis. He's going to fire it all the way up. It's Louis and it's McGregor. Good pass. Anton St. Louis has it. Just 30 seconds remaining here in the first. going to play it back. It's a big shot from the ambush. It's off the rear dasher. No opportunity there. Chicago has it here there on the rebound. It's two on one right now. Two on two. Ambush are closing. They'll play it over to... That's Del Santos. Del Santos plays him inside. It's deflected. It bounces around. It's dangerous. It's cleared out by the ambush. Almeida has it. He sees a streaking. Victor France cannot get it to him. He works inside. He gets it to France. France goes down. Almeida is taken down. It looks like Ephraim Beard and him might have mixed up. Taylor Bond's going to raise his hands like he didn't do anything. I don't think he did. I don't think that's Taylor. Ephraim Beard. It's Beard. Beard yeah. and Taylor, Taylor Bond look very, very similar to me. And they both wear those ugly shoes. Almeida on the restart. Nine Please, seconds. Plays over to Ross McGregor. Seven seconds. Big shot. It's off the glass. No opportunity there. Bond reveals it. I tell you what, he's so talented. <laughs> he's so gosh darn talented. Chicago out in front, 4-2 to two at the end of the first half. When we return to the second half of action, St. Louis will be chasing those two goals. You've been watching MASL Soccer, St. Louis Ambush versus Chicago Mustangs on MASL TV on YouTube.
Welcome back to St. Louis Ambush Soccer on MASL TV, powered by YouTube. I'm Fred Slow, alongside me, Jason Norsick. Chicago All Mustangs right, out in front for two goals, 4-2 over St. Louis Ambush. Here we are for second half action. You have anything to take away from the first half, Jason? Sorry about that, I got a little mic. Say that again. Is there anything you took away from the first half, Jason? I think when we were passing the ball nice and slow, nice and simple, we kept control of it, put Mustangs on the defense. We just got to keep that up. When we pressure, pressure together. Be aware that they're going to try to knock it off the boards to get the guys running on for the easy goal, so we got to protect that. But 4-2. We can get back in this. Chicago on the restart, Rojas with it. He makes an attempt, but it's blocked by the captain, Chris Mattingly. There's another block for Mattingly. I think he's a, definitely the top leader for the ambush, I don't, and I think he's very close in the league. Yeah, I think he. I think that's his millionth block on the season, so congratulations to him on hitting the one million mark on blocks. Play back to Casey Clark. Casey Clark with it up front, gets it out to Victor France. Victor France with it, plays over to Nick Korolak. Ambush moving right to left on your YouTube screen. Mitch Garcia with it for the ambush. Plays it over to Lucas Almeida. Almeida to Kranz. Kranz with it, plays over to Mitch Garcia. Mitch Garcia back to Casey Clark. A little bit of pressure from the Mustangs. Almeida lets that one slide by. Nick Korolak comes in very Miley Cyrus-esque, like a wrecking ball. Takes down Alfonso Sandoval. Be a restart for the Mustangs. The ambush just have to be careful getting in too hard. The Mustangs do like to uh, fall easily. Chicago with it. Efren Beard plays it back to Flores. Flores gives it up to Sandoval. Sandoval in possession. It's Garcia with a little bit of pressure, but not enough to affect him. He plays it all the way up to De La Cruz. De La Cruz has it on the side. Moves it inside, gets it to Taylor Bond. He's dangerous, plays it off the board. De La Cruz misses an opportunity play in front. Big save, Casey Clark. Taylor Bond with the rebound, the header, and the goal. Just got to be aware that we can't just watch the goalie do everything. We got to follow our man, not assume. And that's what one thing Bond does well. A lot of the Mustangs, they just keep going after the same one. Hat trick for Taylor Bond. Here's the replay. Like we said, it's played into the corner, and, and this is all Bond from here. It's one on two at this point. Plays it off the rear dasher. De La, De La Santos misses it. It's Casey Clark. He hits it right off the chin. And in a head to head matchup, Taylor Bond's going to beat you every time. And he does there. Chicago jumps out to a three goal lead. Five to two. Mustangs out in front of the ambush with 13, 34 remaining in the third quarter. Midfield restart for the ambush. Captain Chris Manley plays it up to Danny Burko. Danny Burko in possession gets over Cody Brentlinger, plays it in the middle. Takata's not there. Pepe has it. Pepe on the rebound. He's going to try to work inside. Fires it off the dasher. Takata is taken away from him by the Mustang defender. He's played out front to Mattingly. Mattingly is going to chase it down. He's going to be given chase as well. De La Cruz. Pepe with it. Pepe gets it up. Cannot find St. Louis. That's all right. Takata corrals. Takata makes a move to the inside. Flores and Martinez both there. Stefan St. Louis can do nothing in pursuit. Flores with it. Plays it out to Martinez. Martinez tries to get it up. Finds a Chicago attacker. And I do not have the number on the Chicago attacker, but he is grasping the knee. It looks like Mitch Garcia... And number 18, Juan De La Cruz. Ambush foul, number 24, Mitch Garcia, first foul. Maybe matched up knees a little bit. And De La Cruz is going to bounce up, but he's going to be all right. So no blue card there, still five on five action. Six individual fouls and one game results in an ejection. Mustangs are, looks like they got a set play here. We got to make sure we're watching. It was an opportunity for Bond, and he shoots long and wide, and that's advantageous for the ambushes. They're going to have an opportunity here. Cody Blintlinger with it. It's one-on-one -on -one at this point, two-on-two. -two. Now Mustangs are back, two-on-three. Gets up Stephon St. Louis. Nice. Reheals it to Blintlinger. Blintlinger fires. Oh, and too much excitement from the young lad. Great opportunity for us, guys. They just got underneath of that one. Good opportunity, though, for the Mustangs. Like you said, it was a good counter opportunity. 
Taylor Bonner. Gotta get underneath the bleachers here. We'll take a Dude. take a second. <laughs> With a name like Pee Wee, there's one guy who could fit under the bleachers. <laughs> hey fans, be sure to stick around for the post game autograph session. So Flores on the restart for the Mustangs. He's gonna try to play it out. Good. As far as possible, Ambush take it away, Korolak with it. Korolak has it taken away from him. It's playback, it's 50-50 opportunity. Looks like Rojas takes it away, he does. Mustangs with it, they're on the attack. It's playback, Corey Dow, he corrals it. Corey Dow brings him in, settles it to himself, gets it to Almeida, Almeida to the captain, nice. Chris Magley, gets over to France. France is on the far side, he's gonna streak down the right. He's got an opportunity, plays it off the backboard, he cannot find himself, looks for a penalty, he's not gonna get the call there. Corey Dow matches Rojas, Corey Dow plays with that upper body. Corey Dow and Rojas still torn up, and he's going to get called for the penalty there. What do you see, Jason? Well, he did body him a little bit on that first play, but that second one, he just went down a little too easily. This Corey, he's a big guy. He's got to know how to kind of settle back on his, on his power. To him, it's not a foul. No. To Corey, he's, he's just giving him a little tap. But to anybody else, they're going to fall down every time. Taylor Bond gets pulled down by Victor France. Ambush foul. Number 12, Cody Buttlinger. Excuse me, I'm Cody Buttlinger. First foul. Buttlinger in France, two man wall. Dow, Takata, Mitch Garcia. Bond is going to streak to the board. Opportunity for Efron Beer, but it's not much of an opportunity. So the Mustangs had two set plays like that where they didn't have a runner in the back post, and I think uh, Ambush has been very fortunate about that. Each, each play, they just hit it back post. Takata with him from the ambush. He's going to play it up. That's Cody Blintlinger. He's going to try to get over to Burko. No, Burko left the side. A lot of red around him. Blintlinger, it's a one on two. He tries to split him and cannot. It's taken away. Most things in possession. Cody Blintlinger is a man on a mission. He's actually going to free the ball, and it's going to come back to the ambush. Takata dances slightly in the middle of the field. He's going to move it up. He's got the captain, Chris Malley. He's just outside his reach. Cannot get there in time. Number two, Francisco Gonzalez in possession. He hits the turf. No call. Ross McGregor with it. Turns. Nice. Looks to the far left. Looks to the right. It's a goal. <laughs> left foot from McGregor to the inside foot of Takata. Takata finds the left-hand side of the goal. And Jesus Flores cannot extend and make that block. St. Louis ambush goal. That was good patience by Takata. He didn't try to hit hit the ball as hard as he could. He just placed it nice and neat right in the side corner. Fifth goal of the season for number 13. Kintero Takata. Chicago out in front too. Here it is on the replay, Jason. Talk to me about this. Ross McGregor. Taka from McGregor. Takata has those nice flashy shoes from the from GK Union, from Joma. That's yeah, a good play. Mustangs in possession. It's an opportunity here deflected by Pepe. De La Cruz put a little something on that one, but it's going to fly just high of the goal. Casey Clark still in possession. Oh, sneaky, sneaky Chicago Mustangs team. Casey Clark answers the call. Chris Manley with it. St. Louis chasing two. Good back and forth action thus far in this one. Beard plays it back to Flores. Flores gets it out to Martinez. Good pressure from the ambush, though. Playing full field defense. They're going to move it all the way up. Rojas with it. It's going to play it back. Looked like it was a miscommunication between Manning Lee and St. Louis on that last one. I think St. Louis won it to his feet. Manning Lee put it in the corner. Martinez midfield. A little more patience from Chicago than we've seen after the ambush has scored goals. They look to counter strike pretty quickly. Efren Beard with it. Plays it near side to De La Cruz. De La Cruz looks oh. inside. Oh, that's a nice. Uh, yeah, that was a speaking about wrecking ball earlier. Yeah, shoulder to uh, light. I guess that he's not really certain what part of the body to Ambush. Two penalty. say is hurt. But he, he De La Cruz is up. Pepe. He's okay. Pepe is elbow. going to find the penalty box. I guess elbowing. Elbowing. Looks like a shoulder to me. Elbowing. elbowing. It was an elbow. Those elbows hurt. They're nice and pointy on the on the edges. Well, if you ask Taylor Cruz, the elbow is connected to the chin. <laughs> Five on four opportunity for the Mustangs. GK Union. GK Union power play. Or penalty kill. Oh, there you go. 
GK Union, GKUnion.com. Proud sponsor of the penalty care here, here in St. Louis. Chicago with an opportunity. St. Louis just given Martinez the corner there. I guess you have to succeed something. The ambush taken away midfield. Good defense by the ambush. Danny Burko will do it. Danny Burko is doing it. Plays it back to Mitch Garcia. Mitch Garcia gets over to the captain, Chris Manley. Manley stutters, steps, and he just floats one in there. And Stefan can get there. He gets there, but he doesn't. Flores Barraza gets it out to Beard. Here comes Chicago. Mitch Garcia is matched up against Martinez on the near side. Beard with it. Beard plays it over to Peewee. Peewee Herman, Jason. It was a, a TV show. Ball's played inside. Martinez has it, taken away by Burko. Burko can go left, up, down, start, select, and right all at the same time. Troy Dow loses in midfield. He gets Taylor Bond has it. Taylor Bond has it. He's dangerous. Gets to Martinez. Big block by block. the captain, Chris Mattingly. It's played out in front. and one block. And that is how you kill the first minute of a penalty. Just 45 seconds remain. As Beard puts a little something on that one, but Casey Clark is in position. 30 seconds, excuse me, 35 seconds remaining on the power play for the Mustangs, all the way up to Danny Burko. And he tries to outpower Pee Wee, but not in his playhouse, he says. Works it over to Beard. Beard with it to Martinez. Martinez settles at the yellow line. He's looking to make a move. Dallas paces it, though. He's played inside, out in front. Oh, missed opportunity for the Mustangs. Should have been a goal there. Beard with it. Beard back to Pee Wee. Pee Wee across to Martinez again. Martinez tries to work inside. Mitch Garcia saw it all day. He takes it away. Mitch Garcia tries to clear. Gets a little too creative, in my opinion, and loses it. Pee Wee with it midfield. What's the word of the day? I like what you're doing. And there. the kill the penalty. The penalty has been killed. Thank you, GK Union. Chicago on the attack. Chicago works inside. Pee Wee fresh legs back on the field. He has it. Gets over to Mitch Garcia. Mitch Garcia is going to take his time. He's going to settle. He's going to walk. He's going to play one on four. He's going to get it back. <laughs> Casey Clark with it. Post Kind of forces it up, and it's going to be a turnover, and that's all right. Stefan St. Louis with some pressure. All the way back to Flores. Chicago 5, ambush 3. Almeida on the pressure. Cody Blentlinger on for the ambush. Played up to Taylor Bond. He's dangerous. Tries to play it inside. There's no one there for the Mustangs. Comes all the way across the field and off the near side dasher. It's played back to Stefan St. Louis. Stefan St. Louis has it. He and Bond are battling. Watch those two mix up. Gets it out to Pepe. Pepe has it. He's going to let Cody Blentlinger hold it. Settles himself, looks to the inside. Captain Chris Madeline says, everyone calm down. We're going to take a little break here. Watch me dribble. Watch me nay-nay. We should have a timeout here for the referees here soon. I don't under, think we took that one yet. Under seven minutes. So Almeida on the restart for the English. Pepe on. Captain Chris Madeline. Almeida looks inside. He finds nice. France. France to Almeida. All the inside dash. Cody Blintlinger was there, but could not capitalize. France makes a move for the ball. Chicago on the attack. Bond gets it all the way up. That's number 22, Gonzalez. Gonzalez with the turn. Shoots inside corner. Oh, and just wide. Casey Clark took away all of the goal, and that's why it didn't find itself true. Gonzalez with it. He's going to try again inside this time. No success oh. for Chicago. Cannot battle in the box like that. No call. It's played out front. Victor France, oh, there you go, kid, dance. Victor France brings it to the inside corner. It's one on three, but he's not afraid. Victor France is fine for it, and he goes down. And that's how you draw a penalty. Good work by Victor France. For the record, I have more Pee Wee Herman references. Can't wait here. Lucas Almeida with the ball. He's going to play it inside. Mitch Garcia is going to give chase. I don't think Chicago sees him coming. He's going to put a little more pressure than Pee Wee expected. Mitch Garcia battling. Danny Burko now in pursuit. Ross McGregor, their opportunity there for is. the ambush. McGregor with it, shoots. Oh, and it's just high and wide. Missed opportunity for the St. Louis ambush. It's played out in front. Chicago with it. McGregor takes it away. This team's too strong right now. Two-minute penalty against the Chicago Mustangs. are going to say it's pushing. Can't push a guy. That's number 22. That's Francisco Gonzalez. Like a timeout, referee timeout. We're going to have a referee timeout on the field. You're going to have a timeout from us as well because I'm going to drink a soda. When we get back, continuing action here in the third quarter. Chicago Mustangs 5, St. Louis Ambush Jr. Listen to MASL Soccer on MASL TV YouTube.
Welcome back to St. Louis Amber Soccer and MASL TV on YouTube. St. Louis versus Chicago. 545 here remaining in the third. Mustangs out in front. All right, family, we're in the ambush. We're about to go on a four. It's going to be a two-minute power play for the ambush. No hesitation on the board. Who wants to go? Ross McGregor is going to have the restart. Plays over to Almeida. Almeida with it. He's going to get it over to Takata. Victor Brandt's playing the far dasher. Almeida with it. Plays it over to McGregor. McGregor has Stefan. Stefan has it now. Stefan back to McGregor. McGregor finds time. He finds Almeida. Almeida shoots. No, he doesn't. Makes the shot. Gets Takata. Takata forces it. Oh, what a one-time opportunity missed by the ambush. It would have been pretty if it was true. Stefan St. Louis just kisses it off the top. It was much, much better moving by the ambush. They, they attacked. They settled those down. They went back to the attack. Much better by the ambush. Played up to Rojas. Rojas with it at the yellow line. Looks inside. He has Bond. Bond has it. An awkward miss for Bond as he's often not that far off the mark. The ambush with it. Yeah, settle it down. Just move the ball. Takata gets back to Almeida. Almeida's really been controlling the middle of the field thus far this afternoon. Chasing two under five minutes here in the third. Opportunity missed for the ambush. Still a five on four power play. One minute and five seconds remaining. Got lucky there. Almeida with it. He's got McGregor to his left. Takata to his right. France in the middle and Stefan St. Louis near Dasher. Takata gets it to France and France. Well, that's true in any indoor football league. Gotta have a little bit more patience. Set it up and then attack. Ooh, the oh. worst throw in the history of fandom has just occurred here at the that's Family Arena. And this young man should wear shame for his entire life. Oh, that's one of the Marines. I'm sure they did a whole bunch of push-ups. I mean, they they probably woke up and did a lot more than we'll, we'll, we'll ever do in this month. That sick feeling he had the first time he stepped on the bus to go to basic training is the exact same feeling he should be having now. <laughs> Ross plays it up. Manley plays it back to Casey Clark. Let's play what Chris Manley's a good-looking soccer player. Say, that, that little play was cute, too, just a little flick in the you know. Almeida with it. Madeline's going to come off. Takata comes on. Almeida plays it up to France. France to McGregor. He's got time. Gets over to Almeida. Just 30 seconds remaining in your power play. Almeida with it. Almeida to McGregor. McGregor has it. Need, a, need some shots here from the ambush. Gets it to Stefan St. Louis. McGregor still with it. I tell you what, too much time in my opinion. Works it to the far side. Takata with it. You know he'll shoot. Gets back to Almeida. Good defense by the Chicago Mustangs. Takata with it. Oh, and it's taken away. And that's Ephraim Beard. He plays it up. Missed opportunity for the ambush. Just 10 seconds remaining on a penalty. Five seconds on the power play. I'll move that ball, move that ball. And it will have been killed by the Mustangs. Good defense by the Mustangs on that penalty. Here comes Gonzalez. Gets nice. it up. Oh, that's pretty. That's the prettiest thing you'll see in soccer. With the expiring power play, Almeida. Tear drops one in into a waning Takata who's cocked and ready. And again, with Takata, it wasn't that he was trying to hit it as hard as he could. He just wanted to make contact with the ball at the net. Placed it perfectly. It Here it is on the replay. So, like we said, Gonzalez comes streaking on. It's going to take just one second here. McGregor's going to work it back. So here comes Gonzalez. Almeida gives that little kiss, and he finds Takata on the back. And there's only one time in the whole world you're going to score that goal, and it was right then. So Kintaro to Takata with the sixth goal of the season. The ambush are within one here at the Family Arena. It sounds surprised. I did, the early pace of play, I thought Chicago with the three-goal lead was going to come out and, and maybe put on a pressure. But Tony Glavin has, has, has set the sail right, and the ship has straightened a bit. And here with 3.30 remaining in the third, the ambush, uh, they made a bit of a game out of it. Gotta keep their patience up with the ball. Could Flores' jersey be any tighter? <laughs> Taylor Bond with it. I He's think he needs to take a chip uh, GK Union. We have some jerseys and, and anything that he would need. So put Joma on that guy. That's right. Rich Garcia with it for the ambush, plays it to Burko, who's coming off the field, but don't worry, we got a fresh set of legs here. That's Victor France. France tries to get it up to Nick Korlak and cannot. France tries to take it away from four Chicago Mustangs. Ooh, I tell you what, the intensity level is a little bit higher right here for the ambush, isn't it? It's been turned to 11. 
Greg Franz is spotting Taylor Bond. Greg Franz still on Taylor Bond. Almeida takes it away. Almeida with it. Seems like we got the Mustangs on their heels. We gotta keep keep going at them. When, here we are as we catch the Mustangs in a line change. Stefan St. Louis with it. He's got two men on him. But he's pulled down. No call. I don't understand. Three on two opportunity for the Mustangs. Here come the Mustangs in the attack. Rojas on the left. He shoots. It's a big save by Casey Clark. Oh. Stefan St. Louis still talking about his penalty. It's not there. Cody Blitlinger with it. He moves to the inside. He's got one man to beat. He cannot beat that man. Chicago takes the ball. Chicago with it. Chicago on the counter. Plays it inside. Chicago in the attack. That's Rojas. He's been played off the far glass. It's no, no opportunity there. Corralled by the ambush. The ambush with it. It's back and forth action here in the MASL. Blitlinger on the attack. Taken away by Alfonso Sandoval, and everyone's going to calm down for a second. Pee Wee Ortega with it. Blitlinger applies just enough pressure for him to force it up to Rojas. It's too far. It's played to Mitch Garcia. Mitch Garcia is going to chase it down. He has it under control, but out of location. Back to Casey Clark. Clark with it. All the way across to Pepe. Pepe with it. Pepe works it off the far boards. France with it. Horlack plays it back to Casey Clark, and I want everyone just to take a deep breath for a second. It doesn't happen if Martinez mixes it up with Takata. It's going to be a quick restart for the English. No, Takata takes his time. Horlack with it. Horlack plays it back to Takata. Takata's going to look at Garcia. He's going to change his mind. It's all the way back to Casey Clark. Casey Clark going to get it back to Takata. Takata's got an opportunity here. He gets up to Victor France. Victor France on the attack. He's on the right-hand side. He looks to the inside. looks to the left. He wants to shoot. Can't. Gives it to Pepe. Pepe shoots. Big save by Flores. It's going to be cleared by Chicago, but don't worry. There's a St. Louis Ambush player there. It's Lucas Almeida. He gets it back in. F plays it off Ephraim Beard. Ephraim Beard with it. Victor Krantz has touched it up on him. One minute remains here in the third. It's back to Flores. Flores with it. Good pressure by both teams right now. Full extension on the defense for the ambush. They know the pressure's on. Here comes Beard. Beard gets it over to Martinez. He looks to the inside with the left. There's nothing there. He finds it again. He shoots, and it's deflected wide. Opportunity for the ambush. France is one-on-one. -on -one. It's two-on-one. -on oh, and he cannot get it away. Almeida just loses a slightly. Bond goes down. He's going to get up. Oh, my God. Look at the gymnastics move there by Chris Mattingly. He gets it up to Stephon St. Louis. And I'm not sure what the call is going to be here as Pichardo came on and just threw his body into St. Louis. Referees just saying get up like you just fell. But I don't know about that. There was some good contact right there. If you ask Stephon St. Louis, he's never lost an argument. Back to action. 28 seconds remaining. Coley Blintlinger with it. He's got Corey Dow. That's the safe play, and he makes it. Corey Dow's going to get it over to Lucas Almeida. Lucas cool. Almeida says pick up the pace. Lucas Almeida looks inside. He's got Stephon St. Louis to Dow. Dow's open. Dow shoots. Doubt enough. It is high. It is a big one-handed save by Flores. He's the best in the business, kids. It's played up to the front. Corey Dell doesn't have the opportunity. Taylor Bond's dangerous with any amount of time. Stefan St. Louis, way to play the body. Slows it down. Just one second left. Not enough time. I like it. I like what I see. Oh. Chris Mattingly's mixing it up a little bit. Pichardo comes over to Mattingly. Mattingly, Pichardo, and Gonzalez all want to talk. Stefan St. Louis says, well, this is a team sport. I'm going to talk too. Cooler heads prevail. Bodies separate themselves. And there's one quarter of what's going to pretend to be very intense action, Jason. Five to four. We've got, we got a close game. These guys are getting hot-headed a little bit, so everybody needs to calm down on this. Ambush, we we got to come back get another goal. Don't, don't lose our heads. I'm going to take the breath I need, and when we return, St. Louis Ambush Soccer, live on MASL-TV on YouTube.
Welcome back to St. Louis Amish Soccer fourth quarter action here in the MASL. MASL TV on YouTube. Ross McGregor with it for the Ambush. Thanks an early opportunity, but it, rebound controlled by the Mustangs. McGregor and I think that's Rojas mix it up. Rojas goes down. It'll be a restart for the Mustangs. One goal separates these two teams after three intense quarters of action. Efren Beard with it. Efren Beard plays it inside. Had a good quarter by the Ambush on that third quarter, so we just gotta keep up the same pressure. Keeping it simple. Martinez with an opportunity for the Mustangs. He's matched by Ross McGregor. Rojas works it over. He's going to find De La Cruz. De La Cruz plays it out to Beard. Martinez with it on the near side. Plays it long and wide. De La Cruz settles. Beard plays it back to Flores. Flores gets it up to De La Cruz. Beard midfield, not a single ambush defender around him. Beard has all the room, Adamly recovers. Gets it to Martinez, Martinez with it, looks right, looks left, plays it off the board, no opportunity there. Almeida corrals, corrals. Good, good oh. defense by the ambush there. Uh, little miscue there by the ambush. Beard with it, Clark temporarily out of position, he's back now. Rojas in possession. Plays it back to Gonzalez. Edwin Rojas with it to Bond. Bond tries to get to Martinez. He's mixed up with Kranz. Thought he got all ball there, but the far referee decided, called that one. Well, we're not going to get a blue card here, but both players thought they were victims of the most egregious crime in soccer foul history. 19, Kranz, first foul of the half. So it'll be a restart for the Mustangs. It's basically the red dot. Three-man wall for the ambush. Rear heel opportunity. It's good block. Rojas rebound played out of bounds. It'll be a restart for the Mustangs. Almeida, the lone defender in front of the restart. Rojas looks inside to Martinez, but he's marked well by Ross McGregor, out in front. Pichardo with it for the Mustangs. Gets it near the far dasher. Taylor Bond goes down with Greg Crowns. Taylor Bond's gonna stay down. I think that call, I think that's maybe a little bit more acting from the earlier play with Greg Crowns. I'm sure he'll bounce up, but it looks like it's the shin. It's always the shin. <laughs> Side. Side. Hey, Side. Just a reminder, we have a special offer coming up from Stefanina's Pizza. Looks fine. Anytime the Ambush score five goals. Turns out he is able to walk. $5. Bring your ticket to Stefanina's Pizza within the next five days. Congratulations to Taylor Bond on uh, being a marvel in medical science. Or extra large pizza. It's a nice play from Chicago to give it back to us. We did have control of the ball before that, that foul, or before the dead piece occurred. Sportsmanship, kids. That's what it's all about. Chicago in possession. It's played out of bounds. It'll be a restart for the ambush. That's one thing that makes these guys professionals. At the end of the third quarter, everybody was getting into it. Yeah, hot heads, but they still know what professionalism is. Almeida plays it inside, and Stefan St. Louis. Stefan St. Louis with it. Stefan St. Louis battling two Chicago defenders. He's going to come out with it. He's so strong. Taylor Bond way out in front on Almeida. Almeida gets it over to Garcia. Garcia back to Almeida. Almeida in control. He works inside of Nick Korolak. Pepe's going to give chase, but Pee Wee and Pepe, I cannot handle this right now, Jason. He's played all the way down to Casey Clark. Oh, Taylor Bond can score from anywhere, and Casey Clark answers the call again. Here come the Ambushman's Garcia. Mitch Garcia is trying to do a little too much with it, and he's going to lose it. I think that's Rojas with it. It is. Rojas and Garcia really battle. Double, double. Pepe steps in. Pepe and Pee Wee again get these two off of each other. 
Garcia takes it away. He plays it across the box. Most dangerous play in all, in all of indoor soccer is playing with the box. And it's up and out of bounds. Gonzalez says it's him. Almeida says it's not. Mm. Let's do a drop ball. Top of the box restart. The top of the box restart for the Mustangs. They're going to say... I'm just going to say... Yep. Nice conversation with the referees. They decided to get it to the side. I think. Still a little confusion. And it's not going to be top of the key. So we must take re restart on the near dasher. Martinez fires it inside. Mitch Garcia. Good defensive play. Stefan St. Louis with it, takes it from three defenders, gets it up to Nick Korlak. Nick Korlak's got an opportunity. He takes a long shot and it flies just wide of the goal. Stefan St. Louis chases it down. Mustang defender falls down. Another Mustang defender falls down. Pepe's knocking them all down. Rojas with it. He's got an opportunity. Chris Manley is there. You know he'll block it. It's played all the way across the field. That's Ephraim Beard. Beard with it. Beard settles. He looks to the inside. He's got the left foot. Another opportunity. Martinez has it. He's got opportunity. Shoots. It's high. It's inside. Casey Clark with the block. Two in a row. Big saves from Casey Clark. And Victor France goes hard into the boards, and I think they're going to call him. I'm not sure what to call it. It would have been two minutes for boarding, but I think we got lucky there. I that would have been the push. call if I was making it. Beard with it, gets it out top to Pee Wee. Pee Wee with a big oh. shot. Casey Clark answers that. Pepe tries to get it out. Nick Korolak was on the run. No call there for interference. Pee Wee with it. Nick Korolak thought. Left. We got to keep our heads in the game. Don't get too aggravated. Casey Clark with it. Nick Korolak's going to keep talking. Ooh, Nick Korolak mixing it up right now. Yeah. Sandoval and Korolak. And Korolak's going to come off. That's the smart move. Natalie fires it down the field. Beard intercepts, but somehow Danny Burko ends up with it. It's back to Corey Dow. Corey Dow's going to work it inside. He's got Mattingly. Mattingly cannot find it true. Oh, it's in the middle of the box. Cody Blitlinger was there, but he didn't have the position. Takata with it. Just got to settle down, settle down, and get the player substitutions, get a fresh set of legs out there. De La Cruz takes down Takata. I think Mustang's got, a, got away with a lack of a two minute goal. First right Peewee on the restart. He's going to try it all the way down the field. He does have Taylor Bond there. Corey Dow has him matched. Bond and Dow one-on-one. -on -one. Gonzalez with it. He's going to play back to Beard. Beard with it. Looks inside. Gonzalez with it. Plays it back to Peewee. Excuse me, I was saying the ball earlier. Taylor Bond with it. It's, it's a weak opportunity. Brought in by Casey Clark. Cody Blintlinger was... On the Previous defense, it's a long two, outlet. It's, it's played by Chicago First out of bounds. Down. It's going to be ambush ball in front of their own bench. 9-13 remaining here in the fourth. Almeida with it. Garcia. Franz. Almeida. Up to France. Nick Korolak's going to have an opportunity here. 50-50 ball won by the ambush. Almeida gets it inside to France. Oh, he wanted to do something with it, didn't get it. Pee Wee with it. Korolak spots him. It's played up. Oh Greg Franz with a good athlete. Here come the ambush. Mitch Garcia, Garcia with it. Here they come. Ambush with it. Korolak Nick has Valeric. it. He looks to the right, does not capitalize. Greg Kranz comes over, takes the body, and takes the ball. Kranz tries to feed it to France. There's not enough on it. It's out in front. Pee Wee with it. Opportunity for the Mustangs. Pee Wee's midfield. He's got Sandoval to his left. 
Takes his time. Plays over to Taylor Bond. Taylor Bond gets it back to Beard. Beard, Bond, Sandoval, Pee Wee. Garcia, come, Gonzalez comes off. Rojas comes on. Bond with it midfield. He's dangerous. Garcia in front of him. Bond shoots. It's just wide. He's got an attacker. Big save by Casey Clark. Rodrigo Flores thought he had the open goal, and Casey Clark shuts the door. Clark plays it out to Mattingly. Mattingly gets it back to Clark. Clark with it. Clark's going to push it up to Stefan St. Louis. Gets it over to Almeida. Almeida's played off by Bond. A lot of pressure. Big got, physical We got player. a double there. That, that's, we got to put two guys on Bond. He's, he's going to get away with it. It's Mattingly and Martinez. Martinez plays it off the board. It's deflected by Kranz. Kranz has it. Gets it out to France. France with it. France tries to move it up and cannot. By mistake, that's point winger. Martinez with it. Martinez trying to get inside. It's deflected. France just plays it up. Almeida's going to give chase. It's headed back to Flores. Flores with it. The intensity of this game has amplified. Just seven minutes and 15 seconds remaining here in the fourth. And you have to watch all 12 players on the field at all times. Rojas with it. He's marked by Pepe. Plays it back to Flores. France gives pursuit. Played midfield. Flores with it. Takata follows. Not true. Mattingly with it. Mattingly takes a little bump, but he's up. Mitch Garcia on for the ambush. France with it. Gets it to Garcia. Garcia back to McGregor. McGregor to Takata. Chicago's old. Every time they ambush possession, Chicago's all over it. McGregor tries to get by two. Right out of the a little bit of contact in the middle. Flores might have put the shoulder up, so it's going to be in the ambush restart. Ambush are doing a, a lot better job of rotating. They're not just standing around. They're just rotating through, moving, keeping uh, the Mustangs having to, to defend. So easy to defend an indoor if you just stand still. Pepe with it. Gets it to Takata. He's going to get around Martinez. Plays it over to Pepe. France is low. Taken away by Chicago. Martinez with it. Pepe closes. Martinez looks to the right. He looks for Gonzalez. Gonzalez shoots and scores. Now we have an official timeout on the field. We will have a timeout on the field. When we return, Chicago has just extended their lead. Six to four over the ambush. Conclusion to this matchup here. What's your name, sir? At the Family Arena, you're watching MSL Soccer on MSL TV on YouTube. Back at it here in St. Charles. I am Fred Slow alongside me, Jason Norsick. 6.07 remaining here in this matchup. Chicago out in front. 
Sixth to four of the ambush. Sixth attacker for the ambush. The yellow jersey is being worn by Lucas Almeida. He plays it over to Corey Dow. Corey Dow with it. Back to the sixth attacker, Almeida. Dow's going to work it up and inside. That's Takata. Takata gets it back to McGregor. A lot of pressure from the Mustangs. There's only five of them, but it often appears as if there's one more on defense. Almeida gets it inside to France. Awful far from the goal for any opportunities here. Works inside Stefan St. Louis, and he's going to lose it to a crowd of Mustangs. Corey Dow with it. 5.30 remaining. McGregor with it. And I tell you what, it's, it's just a collapsing Chicago defense, and the ambush are not able to work inside. So last week, the, the ambush, when they went on the six attacker, they had a lot of pressure for coming from the six, and a lot of people saw that. So it's good that we've got five minutes left and we got the six attacker out, because the ambush play a little bit different, a little bit more on the offensive with the six attacker out there. Bad outlet from Flores, and Dow has it. He, he works it up, and that's going to be a penalty on Chicago. You can't go up over a guy like that. Mustang foul. Be a restart for the ambush. Sixth attacker obviously will be on the remainder of the game. Unless it's tied. Once it ties, I'm sure it'll come off. Corey Dow with the restart. McGregor on the near dasher. Three ambush defenders near goal. Excuse me, attackers. Dow on the restart. He shoots. It's off the far dasher to McGregor. McGregor settles. McGregor shows patience. Gets, gets it back out to Almeida. He has it. He's going to get inside to France. France turns. Oh, Ephraim Beard with a big block. Corey Dow with it. It's going to be taken away by Chicago. Taylor Bonds looking for his fourth. Oof. Not there, says Almeida. Lucas Almeida back defending. Lucas Almeida defending. Plays it all the way up to Takata. Takata's got a shot. If he can turn, he cannot turn. Plays it back to France. Taylor Bond's going to take it away from France. No, France is so strong. So ambush, it's only two goals down. we got to have a little bit more patience, make simple passes, tire out their defense, and then attack. Takata with it. He likes that left foot. Goes to the left. It's not there. He hits it. There it is. <laughs> Little too out, too out far in front. Chicago takes it away. Chicago got to put some pressure. Taylor Bond with it. Taylor looks, Bond slow. St. Louis looks like he's got a cramp or got the hamstring maybe. Yeah. St. Louis down. Lloyd cuts him coming out, checking on his strongest St. Louis ambush hey, player. Be sure to stick around for the post game autograph session with the ambush players. When you cramp up, you feel it, Jason. Yeah, he's, he's looking at the hamstring. He's pointing at the hamstring. So I think also, hopefully that's not a pulled muscle. That'll be a big loss for St. Louis Sunday, Ambush. February 26th, when the Ambush hosts the Baltimore Blast at 3 p.m. We be giving away 1,200. Slobo, Lloyd's a good trainer. He's taking care of me through through a lot of injuries in the beginning. Lloyd knows, Lloyd knows what he's doing out there. He knows the body. That is for certain. Phone system is provided by commercial telephone systems providing... Phone systems and communication solutions since 19. Next game here at home, February 26th. It's going to be an Slobo. afternoon. Slobo, Slobo bobblehead night. Yeah, they're giving away 1,000, 1,200 of them, I think. Come in here, get your bobblehead. Not sure who the sponsor is on that. I wish I knew. Should be uh, GK Union, but we'll, we'll see. Uh, fellow goalkeeper. Flores will restart for Chicago. St. Louis makes his way to the bench. Sixth attacker still on for the ambush. Almeida in goal. Looks like St. Louis is done for the day. He's headed to the locker room. Rojas plays it back to Flores. Flores with it. Flores gets it up to Peewee. Peewee to Rojas. Rojas to Peewee. Peewee. Chicago's not looking to slow down here, are they? Well, when you got the sixth attacker in net, there's no reason really to slow down. Peewee gets it up to one of the Rojas's. Played back to Almeida. Almeida with it. Almeida gets it up to Garcia. The ambush in possession. Garcia plays it back to Almeida, and here come the ambush. 3.30 remaining, chasing two. Nick Cleric plays it back to Almeida. Almeida to France. France to Takata. Takata to Dow. Dow's got time. Plays it all the way back to Almeida, and the clock becoming a factor at this point. Valeric with it. Plays it back to Almeida. Cody Blintlinger unmarked. Forlack with it. Gets it back to Almeida. Almeida to Takata. Takata to Dali. Shoots. Oh, big rebound opportunity there. Saved by Flores. 
Cleric chases it down, and Taylor Bond has it. He's three ambush attackers. He's going to lose it. Co Cody Blintlinger comes up with it, plays it inside. Takata, Takata to Coral. Oh, big opportunity there. It's missed. It's, it's off high off the glass. Corey Dow tries to run down the rebound, but Rojas it's takes it away. France has it. Here's an opportunity. It's inside. Ooh. Cody Blintlinger with it. It's shot. It's No, it's off the re Oh, it's off the far post. So close. Kolarik with it. He's got a shot. Oh, and it's far and wide. Settled by France. France with it. Makes a move to the left. He matches up. It's off the glass. Header by Takata is wide. It's to France again. We got him on defense. We got to keep attacking. Almeida with it. He's going to shoot from across the <laughs> entire field. Takata cannot control. Chicago cannot control. Almeida has it. We got to go. Go, go, go. Just 2.15 remaining. Almeida is going to get it over to Dow. Dow's going to shoot. It's high and it's wide. Missed opportunity after missed opportunity for the ambush. Where has this pressure been all night? And Flores looks winded. Trying to slow down the game. They know they're on defense, so Flores is a good goalkeeper. He knows when to slow things down. Well, you can tell when he's breathing deep because the jersey doesn't leave much to the imagination. <laughs> Woo, Ross McGregor takes legs. it away. He's the strongest kid I've ever seen. Ross McGregor makes a move to the left. He settles himself. He stops himself. Plays it back. He's got Garcia. Garcia fires. Oh, it's high and over the net. We got to keep the pressure up on on the Mustangs. They're feeling it right now. We just got to keep it up. Two minutes even, and on the restart, the clock will run, and here it goes. It's down the field. It's a 50-50 ball. Chicago has it. Martinez with it. Got to put pressure. Burko in pursuit. Cleric in pursuit. Mattingly on the defense. Gonzalez plays it back. Almeida's there. It's inside. Woo. Big save by Lucas Almeida. And he's taken down by Gonzalez. No blue card, but we're going to get a restart. Quick restart. Chris Mattingly has it. Chris Mattingly gets it back to Almeida. One minute and just over 30 seconds remaining. Almeida works it up. Cleric with it. He's got the captain. Chris Mattingly with it. He looks right. He fires. He's big. France has it. Oh, he's looking for the bicycle kick. You've seen him on the highlights. There it is. Victor France skips it along the turf. St. Louis ambush cut into the two goal lead. Six to five at this point. 125 remaining in this matchup in regulation. Tell me about this replay, Jason. We were right, in, right there. I thought we was going to finish it one time. He had a lot of patience, turned and shot. It was, it was a lot of good patience by Victor. Victor. Not shoot it that one time, but let the ball kind of settle down for him. Victor France turns, and he sneaks it under the bag at the Peewee, and it is a goal for the St. Louis Ambush. It's like a timeout by uh, the Mustangs. Chicago's going to take a timeout. So are we when we return the conclusion to regulation here in St. Charles. St. Louis Ambush for Chicago Mustangs, MASL Soccer, and MSL TV on YouTube. Back at it here in St. Louis. Chicago six, St. Louis five. Taylor Bond has been the player of the game, but the story right now is the sixth attacker for the ambush. Chicago on the restart, and they're going to lose it to Mitch Garcia. Pepe with it. Garcia settles, plays it back to the sixth, sixth attacker, Almeida. Just one minute and 10 seconds remaining. Korlak has it. There's not a butt in a seat here in the family arena. Corlett gets over to Dow. Dow with it. Plays it back to Almeida. One minute remaining of action here. 
Corey Dow with it. Corey Dow plays it up, and he's going to lose it to a Chicago defender, but Nick Korlak's going to come through. 52 seconds remaining. It's healed back to Almeida. Here's your last attempt. Everybody up on your Almeida feet. with it. He plays it up to Pepe. Pepe gets it to France. France with it. He's going to be knocked down, and you're going to get a call. It'll be a restart for the ambush. I think we got to take a timeout here. Tony Glavin looking to call the timeout. Get something set up. Only 40 seconds left. We got to we got to get it fixed. He's going to wait to see how Chicago sets their defense. Man wall for Chicago. Coach Glavin taking notes. Almeida on the restart, and he's going to call a timeout as you predicted, Jason. 42.8 seconds remaining. Timeout ambush. Jason, what is Coach Glavin going to say to his guys right now in this timeout? I think we're just going to get one simple play set up. We know where the defense is. We know where to make the runs. It's nice and close to the goal. I think it's just going to take a one touch, one guy run over, the other guy screen the goalie, and then the deflection in. Tie up the game. I think the more complicated we make it for the guys, the, the less likely we'll be successful. So nice and simple, you do it correctly, we get the goal. The last thing the family arena would want is for this game to go to sudden death as they're trying to set up for the Missouri State National Cheerleading Competition this weekend, which is why the game was moved to 11 a.m. on a Friday. Apologies to everyone at their day jobs right now. Make sure your boss is not watching you watch exciting MASL action. We had a snowstorm here in St. Louis some four weeks ago that produced no storm or snow. The, 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 it was the ice storm, right? But there was no ice. There was no nothing. So everything was rescheduled, including this. And that's why we are here now. Joe De Niro not with us under the weather. 42.8 seconds remaining. That point eight is a big deal at the end of the game. The Mustangs take the field. The ambush follow. Almeida, the sixth attacker, France. Kiwi, Corey Dow, Greg Kranz, Takata. Kranz is strong with the left foot. Who wants to go? Let me hear you. With the sixth attacker, we should have a little bit more movement. Two man wall for Chicago. Here's the restart. Looks like Almeida is going to try to hit it one time here. Oh, no, it's Kranz. Oh, Kranz misses it. Taylor Bond with it. Taylor Bond heads it. That ball is too fast. Chase it, oh, my friend. No. And it's just wide. That's a blue card. That's a blue card on Almeida. I missed the call. Well, they kind of bumped each other. So Bond was trying to head it half the length of the field for a goal. And the official believes that he's talented enough that that would be a goal. So they're going to call a blue card. On oh, no, Almeida. On the list of things I'm not sure about, I'll put that near the top. Well, there was just that contact. I think Almeida just stuck with Bond a little too long. He should just let him kind of have the ball. I don't know if it's a shootout in my opinion because I don't feel like he was unabated, but the officials see otherwise. He was the last attacker. And France, France has the five-minute yellow for descent, I believe. Victor France hit with the yellow card. So he will spend five minutes thinking about what he did, or 33 seconds if Chicago I don't comes. know if we can switch the goalies here. I guess we can. Well, you, stoppage of play. Uh, although I do not have the MASL rule book in my hand. So I, nice I, uh, embrace by the goalkeeper. Martinez, I believe. So Martinez is going to take the penalty shot. Because it was a penalty on Almeida, the goalkeeper, it'll be five on five action. Is that right? No, it'd be four on five because he was the sixth attacker. Should have read right. the book. That's my fault. So on the whistle, it's a dead sprint. Looks like the referees are making sure they got it right. Too many Mustangs on the field. Math is hard. 33.2. Mustangs out in front by one. Here's the restart. Clark comes up. Martinez with him. Martinez wow. moves to the right, and that's the goal, and that's the game. Shootout goal scored by number 10. Shootout goal scored by number 10, 
Efren Martinez. There is 29 seconds left. The sixth attacker will return to the field for the ambush. Made is very not ha or is not happy about that. Call. No, Lucas is uh, very upset. Here's the replay. Martinez with it, and then, like you said, it's that stutter to the right. All Clark can do. So with that one, the Mustangs basically put it out of reach. Corey Dow with it, 20 seconds remaining. He's going to fire it inside. Rebound's going to go long. Garcia fires. It's off the inside. Flores corrals it. Just 15 seconds remain. He has five seconds to get rid of it. Just 10 seconds remain. It's midfield to Pepe. Pepe to Pee Wee. And, of course, that's how we would end the game. <laughs> the St. Louis Ambush fall to the Chicago Mustangs here in St. Charles, 6 to, or excuse me, 7 to 5. About as good of a game as you're going to see on a Friday afternoon. Made it very exciting at the end. That was a good game to come and watch. The next time you'll hear my voice, and maybe Jason, the 26th here. Blast come to town. That's Sunday. It's a 3 p.m. game. I'll be happy to be here if you, if you have me again. I am Fred Slow. You are Jason Norsick. For everyone here on the production team, thank you for tuning in to MASL Soccer, St. Louis Ambush, Chicago Mustang on MASL TV, powered by YouTube, proudly sponsored by Midwest Members Credit Union. We will see you in two weeks. Good job, everyone. GG.